Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Here is the main input control board has been disassembled because as we saw from viewing the schematic the main power supply it's the the board that has that have the fuses in it and the regulators and the uh, all the main pro, uh, uh, signal processing and the main power supply lines is through this board over here this board as you can see I'm going to just stand up because it is a massive uh, control unit or control board it's very big actually and it it have uh, it has multiple boards stacked next to each other so this is a look at the I'm going to zoom in a little bit this is the two regulators I see the minus 15 volt and the plus 15 volt these two ICs are for driving the uh, seven segment LED displays uh, this is the jack that uh, that it is connected from the other side in the uh, power uh, supply or the power board that have the fuses in it and this is the ICs the LED driver ICs so this board it is this board it is separate from the other control board uh, because it is 16 uh, channel I believe in each board in each segment this is a segment between no just let me see it closely this is between here this and this this is a separate board so what they did they built a four channel in each board so uh, we have we have one board second uh, second third fourth four board four uh, multiply by four it is called for 16 channel and that what it is in here so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to remove all these uh, uh, tabs built-in tabs and uh, test separate this board disconnect it entirely and test it separately as you can see it is all has been uh, connected through these this 16 dip uh, uh, connector so I'm going to try to remove this oh wow oh yeah <laughs> never mind I hate these I hate these I hate these The like pins of the IC but they can really rebend in place easily I should not taking taking out taking this connector with my hand I should use a screwdriver and wedge it a little bit wiggle it a little bit so I'm going to zoom out now it is obvious that these are the controls uh, the equalizer uh, uh, controls the effect controls and uh, if you take a look around here you would find that someone was in here and someone did a pitiful job he did not bother to take out the uh, the board and he tried to fix it right here uh, if and this is all it wrote and if you took a, take a look around here you will find 
the hell this is it? Wow! Look at the dirt. And the guy told me that he cleaned it. I can't imagine <laughs> if this is cleaned and it's uh, it looked like this. What it what it does look uh, looks like before he, he uh, even clean it. Wow. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove this board, I'm going to remove this, this bracket over here, it has two screws in the bottom of it, I'm going to remove it, and pull this entire board out. This will not, I will not take this all out without a screw and without uh, wiggle it a little bit. Lift it from one, uh, one side uh, after another. So, get the hair. Mm. Yeah. Can't imagine what kind of dirt was uh, was in here. So I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to do this, and I will be back. Hmm. After, after wiggling a lot of the plastic holder, self-tapper type, not self-tapper, but self-holder actually, I wiggle about one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And I don't want want to continue counting, but I wiggle a lot, uh, up to twenty self tappers. Just let me go to the main chassis and count them clearly for ever who is interested in the accurate number of the uh, plastic holder is 21 holder so it's a real pain in the ass just to remove this board from the metal housing and if we zoom in a little bit this area over here you can you can find that there is sign of rust and corrosion in this rotary switch oh my god this is horrible wow A lot more hair. Hmm. And there is a significant amount of death, uh, of the dust and dirt. Hmm. Wow, uh, look at, what the hell is this? Yeah, it's like a baby cockroach. It's like a baby cockroach. Yeah, wow, this is disgusting. Taking a look at the other side of, this, of the PC board.
it looks fairly de de clean and like that this thing over here I don't want to find out what what it is uh, <coughs> corrosion from one of the feet of the uh, of the electrolytic capacitor a rail of dirt and there is a damage in one of the traces on this board over here looks like it is the same connector that have the baby cockroach in it so wow and he is asking why it stopped working poor device Yeah, very poor device. Look at the way the budget is. Look at the way the budget is. Oh my god. And they... Why? I don't know. Maybe the these diode has been blown up. And burned, burned up or short it for some reason and someone try to clean it up oh boy oh man this ski it's it needed to be lubricated or greased up these two switches they are way 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 uh, dirty Oh man. So, uh, what what I'm going to do now? I'm going look at this capacitor over here. This look this doesn't look so good. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean this board up, uh, clean it thoroughly cleaned very good and passed uh, this, these ICs and replace C and the schematic what these diodes or what are these exact part are and test all of these and replace the damaged component and let's hope for, for the best If hmm. poor machine, yeah, very poor machine. Mm -hmm. Texas instrument, Texas instrument part. Oh yeah. All the components are original. They looks original, except of these. These two over here, they were budge in. So <coughs> I'm going to clean it and test this component and feed it through a separate power supply and see if it is going to work or not okay and hope for the best so after testing all the component I found that the this I see over here the 
LM7815 it is has a problem in it and does not regulate very well so I replace it I replace all of these capacitors the 22 microfarad over 20 volt I replace them with 22 microfarad over 50 volts it's exactly the same because they the 25 volts uh, does not make any difference and I also also replace these uh, because they are uh, off in value and when I continue testing by testing the uh, the load or the uh, resistance of the uh, uh, of the part in each voltage rail uh, I found that these two ICs are dead shorted and these two they are drawing more uh, ohm, ohms than uh, normal so I replace all the four of them uh, and I also fix uh, and replace these two diodes they were previously replaced and botched in like you saw in uh, the early footage in this video and I I will now try to power it up and see if it is going to work or not there is no uh, reason why it uh, it will not work but there is always a margin of error and for this purpose I found in my junk pile this uh, 15 volt center tab 15 volt uh, 2 amps transformer and I made a rectifier uh, circuit for it a bridge rectifier so I can get the uh, minus and plus 20 volt typically and the uh, load actual load voltage for 15.5 volts it will be about an 18 volts and this will be an an etiquette uh, an educate uh, an educate an uh, educate uh, voltage uh, or suitable voltage for uh, testing this circuit now I'm going to uh, I already connected my uh, VOM test leads and I set the range to 50 volts and now I'm going to power it up and see if it is going to work or not. Okay. Let's let's test the voltages and see. Here we have a dip IC, so we should get here up to 15 volts, and we are getting 14.5. It is okay. Let's reverse the polarity, and this is the same. So the voltage it is okay. Now let's test the voltage before the uh, the regulator ICs and okay it's roughly 18.5 volts and it is okay now I'm going to, to test if there is any heat in the ICs normal 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 just this no, no, they're more uh, slightly warm, but uh, they are normal. Okay, and the way to test if the uh, LED bar graph are working or not, this is a driver IC for both of these uh, LED drivers, 
what you should is touch the, touch the pins with your hand okay 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 this is this one side is working that's just the other one okay 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 cool cool so by shorting the pins of the IC through your finger you will get an active volt that will drive the output of the op amp to an operation level like so okay okay <coughs> sorry about that I have a bad cold for the last two weeks okay okay now let's test the other one okay okay let's test this one okay perfect so the indicators are working fine the LED driver the bar graph are working fine uh, the IC it is very few heat the cooler it's a bit warm it's not warm even so voila the circuit is now working all what we replace is these I see the two uh, diodes the rectifier, uh, the regulator, uh, the capacitors, and we are ready to go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to disconnect all of this and uh, reassemble it, install it in place, and I will not connect any of the uh, uh, other input I'm going to put the signal through this board and I will move to the other parts of the circuit so I install the board in the uh, chassis the metal chassis or in, in its cabinet and I install all of the jacks in place but I did not install or connect this line over here because I'm going to test it test this board and test the operation of the uh, mixer before I connect this uh, these boards and I install this jack over here uh, <clears throat> and while I'm installing this I notice something a little bit odd uh, the jack that uh, it is for uh, the controls that control the graphic equalizer and if we, you take a look around here I will just zoom in a little bit I notice there is a signs of uh, something shoe or eight the isolation of the wires on both sides
that is very very weird very very weird so because it is not uh, the wire it is not the cable it's not deteriorated I think some rodent and probably mouse chew and try to eat to eat the isolations so the way to fix this is to use a banded uh, masking tape and uh, wrap it all around the wire or around the cable and that should take care of it so I'm going to do that and I will move on to the mixer power amplifier and the, the, the power board and fix the problems in that board uh, now back on the mixer and this is the power supply board the main power supply board it got the fuses as you can see wow look at the way that the uh, rectifiers are or the diodes they are corroded I believe if I leave these in the circuit eventually they will they will stop working and they will short from the inside and look at the wire around here how it corrode and after examining the wires I found this there is a little mouse that enters this device in some in some in some in some time and ate all of this he nibbled these there is no way in god green earth that something did not can cause this beside a rodent or a little mouse And why it is a little mouse? Because there is no opening in the entire set can can a bigger animal to enter from it. The only way a little mouse can enter this device is through the uh, the fan grill, and he must squeeze himself in order to get it. And a uh, if it was a bigger rodent, a rat, maybe, he could not, because he is big. Rodents or rats are big. So, yeah. He... He... Shoe... He ate this, and let me just see. There is many damage, and these in this area over here, and in these two wires over here. So he had his his time, for he has been caught. Uh, so. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to mark the numbers of the of each uh, wire on the board, and I'm going to remove them. Oh my God! Look at this. This is weird. This is the weirdest kind of rodent case I ever seen in in the mixers. Wow. So anyhow, anywho, 
or anyhow. I'm going to remove this and check the other wires. Look at this. And I'm laughing because I imagine the, uh, <laughs> the small mouse in my head right now. <laughs> oh yeah. So, uh, as I said, I'm going to pause this video and mark each uh, wire. To the to the place in uh, in the uh, in the board and remove it and then I'm going to remove this board and work on it separately because I'm going to test the, these capacitors and replace these and the wires and it's hard to do this when they are plugged or they are in existed in its in its situation present situation so i'm going to do that and i will be back and here is the complete circuit board power circuit board has been fixed i tested these capacitors the early ones and they tested uh, low in value so I replaced them with the, these uh, nice Rubicon yeah and I replaced all these diodes and they tested these and replaced this jumper over here so this uh, circuit is now ready to be uh, installed and ready to be put into service onto use and I also heat shrunk all the the shoot uh, all the bitten uh, wires and uh, they are ready to go so I'm going to mount this and install it in its uh, holder and tighten the screws that hold this board in place and I will then I will move to test the power supply section and I'm going to remove all of the uh, screws that hold this board in place or this unit in place and test it thoroughly before I apply any power so I'm going to do this and I will be back. Here is the complete board it has been assembled. As you can see all the wires has been connected to their places and I already hook and connect some power but I did not power it yet. Now I'm going to power it and hope for the best. And this is my VOM meter to monitor the power these lines we shall get the minus and the plus uh, 22 volts and between this wire over here and this pin over here and this we will have the uh, 44 volts and we are going to measure because it's not a common and that is a weird thing about the circuit it doesn't have a common ground uh, each part of the uh, power had has its own ground so what I'm going to do now I'm going to uh, connect power and through a uh, a limit current limiting of course because we won't we I don't want to 
this thing blow up into my face. Unlikely, it is unlikely to to have some issue in it, but there is always. You heard the example. It is better safe to be sorry. Okay. Let's see. I already connected the the VOM to 50 volt scale and I'm positive. Let's see now. We are getting up to 22 volts. This is okay. Let's switch the other. And we are getting exactly 22 volts. Okay. And okay, let's test the twenty five volt, twenty four, forty five volts. Okay. Well, the voltages are okay. Now let's let's test the five volts. And we are getting up to five volts. Five volts. So it is okay now. Let me get the uh, input section and hook it up. But before I do that, I'm going to drain the power out to out of these pins. And the way to do that is to get a, uh, a load, a small load, and connect it to each pin. And this will drain the power that's stored in the in these capacitors over here. <laughs> 